someone who's been linked to the Kardashian family in the past is Los Angeles Clippers player Blake Griffin. Griffin, who is rumored to be dating Kendall Jenner, might have to play defense when it comes to his dating story. After ESPN put out an Instagram post yesterday announcing that Griffin was being traded to Detroit, one user decided to comment, quote, I think Lolo Jones has a thing for Blake Griffin. Well, the Olympian was quick to respond, saying, quote, nah, I went on a date with him, worst date of my life, and he's a terrible kisser. I know. Wow. Where did that come from? (laughs) Well, to make matters worse for Griffin, TMZ caught up with the funny man himself, Marlon Wayans, who Uh had some advice for the NBA star. Check it out. Uh Uh-oh. Damn, I'm so happy I didn't kiss Lolo. Lolo, you be telling Bendis like, Dad, girl, damn, you be rating the kiss? (laughs) Really? Blake. Bro, you gotta get your kiss game on. She would have traded you to Detroit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story, don't kiss Lolo Jones. Yeah. Stupid. Oh my god. So ladies, what do you think of Lolo literally kissing and telling? <laughs> you, She's been known to be like a sore loser. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you guys know a lot <laughs> yeah, about her. Yeah, I just don't yeah, keep it real. Yeah. yeah. She's been known that if things don't go her way, whether it's in her, what, she did like different sports. She started out doing one thing and ended up doing bobsledding. Yeah. She was in track. It I didn't think? go out. It didn't go so well for her, okay. but she yep. pretty yeah. much would like throw tantrums, that sort of thing. And I just think this is a tell of her character. Like, you kiss somebody. I don't care if you didn't like it. Why do you have to put that on Instagram? Yeah. Like, that's a conversation for you and your girlfriends. But to diss somebody somebody on Instagram like that is just so whack. Well, the problem is, is that people get caught up with somebody comments, because somebody commented to her, and then she responded. That's what I said. Be careful when people commenting you, and then you go, you're like, well, he wasn't good anyway. She could have left it at nine. Yeah, but that reaction makes sense. Why even respond? For a 16-year-old, right? (laughs) Maybe even a 12-year-old. You could see a kid being like, well, I don't like you anyway. The fact that this 35-year-old beautiful, confident... She's so pretty. And has, well, she's so mad about and, that date, though. And she, she, she's... <sighs> Keep it real. For her to actually comment like that, I was like, something happened to you. Something... something there, it just seemed like a low blow. But right. Then, yeah, something happened on that date. It was a bad happened date. between them. Yeah. Google her, her and you'll see bad. what we're talking about. But she's yes. known for these Ooh, kind of coach, things. Ooh, coach, put me in. Put me in, okay. y'all. Go, 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 I have to give it up to... I'm more impressed with Blake because all these people are talking about him and he hasn't said a word yeah. back. So I have to give that Happy. up to him. Yeah, it yeah. says so much more Happy. about him than it does about her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think, 100%. like, we've all had exes up here. Uh, we're never going to call them out by name and be like, oh, you're whack, you are a whack kisser. Like, that's just so... Like, that actually makes you look whack yeah. when yeah. you do that. It doesn't say as much about the other person. It says a lot more about you and your character that you would do that. Yeah. And it kind of rained down on him. He already got traded from the Clippers to, you know, Detroit. What's up, Detroit? We love <laughs> it, though. Okay? So we well, asked you guys what you think about kissing and telling after a date. At Latoria's Secret said, that's a cute name, you have to tell your girls how the date went. You may not tell others, but you have to tell your girls so they know what's up. I agree with that. Tell your girls, but not on not Instagram. Not on Instagram. Flawed, like it's flawed. Yeah. I agree with you guys. Right? <laughs> I, I think uh, it might be a little bit of a petty move to actually respond to something that happened three to four years ago negatively. Like, why does the world need to know that Blake Griffin is a terrible kid? But kisser? what's a bad kid? How do we even know he's a bad kid? What's, what's a bad kid? Like, if they when lick all sloppy, on your face, let me see. When they're sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, that's literally like Tam. We can yes. get any of your ex-boyfriends on Morning. the show, and if he's what? bitter, he are you might say, you they're not even bitter. reacting. Exactly. <laughs> this happens so hard on a daily. My friends are just continuing to talk like not even... That's just... a bad kiss right there. What? You know, you're just like... <laughs> yeah, if your you mom is all tight like that, <laughs> this is not a good kiss. This is a good, this a good kiss. Tight this is a good kiss. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay. Now but that's... seriously... <laughs> What did you anybody? Do? I was like, did do that. Oh, okay. but anybody that wants to be bitter and be mad at you is gonna say you're whack. I'm sorry. Any guy could date any of you ladies out here, and if it doesn't work out, be like, yeah, she was whack. She, yeah, you know, I was gonna say something crazy. But like I said, yeah. he didn't say anything. So uh, big ups to Blake for not yeah. saying nothing back. Like, let it go. Dude. He's probably happy.